about a year and a half ago that my kidney was removed. And I had a tumor about, I think they said about 18 centimeters, which was a little bigger than a baseball. So my kidney was removed, and after the kidney was removed, went through pathology, and it was determined that I had cancer. And from there, my surgeon and general practitioner then recommend that I talk to the oncologist, the chief oncologist. So I went, made an appointment, because they had determined the cancer was in the lungs, was in the liver, and of course they had to remove the kidney. In speaking with the chief oncologist, uh, I was totally shocked because they had no answer for me. The hospital, I was told, does not treat this kind of cancer. No references, no information whatsoever. So I was shell-shocked when I walked out. I was given the name of a clinic to call. So on my own, I went, searched the internet, and I also networked with some friends. And through the internet and networking with friends, I found out that renal cancer is treated through immunotherapy. And it was from my research that I then called around to different hospitals here in Chicago, and I discovered Howard Kaufman, uh, who I then met, and I was treated for um, renal cancer, which began about a year ago, and uh, went through uh, immunotherapy. Um, the treatment was very good. Um, being diagnosed with level four cancer is a pretty frightening thing. And what made it worse was the fact that the oncologist couldn't direct me anywhere. But the more I learned about immunotherapy, and the more I worked with the doctor, uh, I became very comfortable with what he related to me. Uh, I went through four treatments. And in my case, I had to go in the hospital for five days at a time. So what started out is cancer in my liver. My, my, uh, it wasn't in my one kidney, but throughout my lungs. And I actually had uh, about the size of a grape. One of my lymph loads gotten about the size of the grape. Within one week after my first treatment, my lymph node, the size of my lymph node, it was completely gone. Completely gone. And as I got to treatments through the course of four or five weeks, it just was feeling better. I mean, it was a great outward sign, the fact that the lymph node was gone. Then I received my CT scans, and the treatment was working. It was just such great news. Uh, made me a firm believer of immunotherapy. And by no means am I cured. I'm on the path to recovery, and you know, it would be five years. I'll have to continue for the next three months, for the next two years, to go th through CTs. Then they'll change to six months. But they, the tumors that were in my body, they're barely discernible in CTs. They're what used to be centimeters, is now millimeters they wouldn't even be able to take a, a biopsy if they wanted to. It's been absolutely wonderful, the fact that immunotherapy has given me this new lease on life, and I felt I owed it to become a patient advocate of immunotherapy in, in SITSI. So I think, you know, I'm glad to share my experiences with everyone out there, and I think if there's one message that I might have to those people uh, that are looking at immunotherapy as well as to the organization itself is that utilize SITSI as a resource. Um, 
but if we can get the word out to the doctors, that would be the most important thing. I was stunned when I learned from the oncologist that, oh, they don't treat your, your type of cancer. It's called IL. They weren't really sure. If Sitsi could just spread the word to the doctors and just how important it is for patients such as myself. And I encourage patients who have this type of cancer to um, you know, not only get on the internet, but contact Sitsi because they're uh, there to help and spread the word.